We purchased the Behringer estate, which for the beauty of its grounds had been the pride of the people of the city. This purchase also stirred up no little opposition among the white people. And thus, while we succeeded at last in obtaining a valuable property, we had at the same time excited great indignation against us. Henry Martin Tupper. You can't have racism if you don't have power. Henry Martin Tupper has robbed me of the ability to have bias against white people. He was a white man who was a Union chaplain who at the end of the war decided to stay and to teach newly freed slaves how to read and how to write. There's a saying that without knowledge, the people perish. As the oldest HBCU in the South, Shaw has led the way. These were not only academic institutions, they were freedom schools. Plessy versus Ferguson institutionalizes, separate but equal. Shaw University, like many institutions that had seen golden years of establishing opportunities for free blacks, began to struggle with its identity, and it began to struggle with its very existence. With the coming of student activists, you see that there is a very consistent and persistent effort to dismantle segregation through direct action, nonviolent protests. The sit-ins were directed at variety stores that would allow us to shop, but we could not sit down at the lunch counters. I was the first to be arrested those young men and women who came to create the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, fanned out throughout the South, put their lives on the line to tear down the walls of segregation. No SNCC, no Civil Rights Act, no Voting Rights Act, no Obama. Change has come to America. It's just as clear as anything. If there is an antidote to racism in this nation, it is education. We need more soldiers of truth who are willing to step forward and follow that inner voice that lets you know what's right and what's wrong. Once Mr. Berenger found out that his property had been sold to a northerner for the purpose of educating the freed slaves, his comment at the time was, if I had known that my property was going to be sold to those I would not have sold it. 